Quilting using painter's tape. Let's get into it. If this is your first time here, my name is Matthew of Mixed Domestic. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you get notified of new videos whenever they come out. So I have been going through my stack of works in progress and I decided that I wanted to quilt up this elevated abstractions quilt that I did in 2019. It's a violet craft pattern. And for straight line quilting or walking foot quilting, I like to use painter's tape for smaller, moderate projects because it's easy to maneuver. I don't have to get out my hair marker or my friction pen and look at these results. Wow, I am blown away. I might go over one more time in between the two lines, but check out how straight they are. As straight as I can do. So painter's tape comes in various lengths. I use the one inch length, but then there's also a two inch length if you wanted wider. And if you're super careful, you can reuse the same strips over and over and over again so you're not wasting much tape. And then when you're done, you can put it on a box and you don't waste any of it. So if you wanna learn how to use painter's tape for your quilting, stick around. Let's have some fun. So I am going to use painter's tape to quilt this and just do straight line horizontal quilting, but I don't wanna use a friction pen and hair marker gets a little wibbly wobbly. I found this to be the most precise and for a quilt like this I definitely want it to be precise. So this is I believe one inch painter's tape. Actually what I'm going to do since this is a small quilt I will fold it in half to find the center line. I've already basted this with glue basting Right here, so put the top raw edge right here. And that press should show on the other side. And I open it. Give me the center. Like so. And so that's giving me one line. And now I'm going to add a couple lines and then reuse the strips as I go so that I don't use a lot of this painter's tape. And with this ruler, I'm gonna space the tape one inch. I might stop at one inch quilting, but then I might do another one in the center. I'm not sure yet. Like so, I'll take this to my sewing machine and I am going to quilt this up. And I am quilting at 2.8. It's my preferred quilting on smaller projects. When it's a larger quilt, then I'll go to a 3.0 millimeter. As you can see, I'm quilting right along the edge. Preferred to be right outside of the edge of it instead of accidentally on the tape. And I am quilting with a wonderful deco bob, which is an 80 weight polyester in a medium gray. It just melts into all the colors. It just creates texture. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to do all of the lines on this side going this way and then I'm going to turn it around and do it on the other side. So I'll always be stitching on this side of the tape. I need my reading glasses. I can't see without them. I 
And now I am going to rotate the quilt. Get the other side of the tape. That will keep the, the quilt top and fabric from shifting all in one direction. And this side will create balance here. I usually wouldn't do one at a time, but I want to go ahead and show you the stitches and the precision here. Oh my gosh. Look at the precise quilting right here. Then I'll use this tape again for another pass when I go and tape the rest of them up. For now, I'm just going to continue quilting. Now I'm going to remove these three pieces of tape slowly in case it accidentally was sewn over. That way I can reuse it one inch from the stitch line. And as you can see, I'm going from point to point as far away as possible just to keep it in alignment and straight. What I love about painter's tape is when it does this, it doesn't have a lot of tack on it. It's just enough tack to keep it in place so that you can reuse it and remove it. Otherwise it would damage walls, right? So when it turns into acrylic curly QMS, you can still reuse it. Win, win. And I'll keep repeating this process over and over until I get all of the lines in. I am so excited because I am quilting in between where I had the tape lines and it's like the perfect measurement of my walking foot. And I'm just going right into the center. And this is something I'm gonna do again and again and again because look at the perfection right here.